see what happens after that. All right. Right. The meeting streaming. All right. Well, good afternoon, everybody. It really is good to see all of you all. And there's some new people here. So I'm going to adjourn. I'm going to convene the meeting now for the human services. Uh, this is also on YouTube channel. Is that 1A? So I'm State Senator Marilyn Moore, uh, co-chair of Human Services. This is my fourth term uh, on Human Services. Uh, I, I appreciate that I'm watching things happen and as they grow. I'm also on Children's. I'm on actually eight committees this year. I don't know how that's going to work, but if I can sit here and do it, I can, and I have all day to do it. Nothing else to do. I'm fine with with doing it. So. I appreciate seeing all of you all. I know there's a couple of new people who have come on and I'm glad to see some new faces also, but uh, I co-chair this with, with Kathy Abercrombie, Representative um, Abercrombie, who is no, every, knows everything about this. She's been on this committee a long time. And when I first walked in the door, I had to really lean on her to, to lead and say, uh, this is the history, because that history of why we've done what we've done is really important. And she is that person that has that. So, but this is my attempt at taking on a leadership now after four, three sessions that I kind of had a roadmap from her on what to do and how to, to move forward. I usually would say, no, Kathy, you do it. But I'm, I'm stepping up my game this year as uh, I, when I see the new people that have come on, you know, having a little experience that I want to be able to help other people move along and learn. Uh, and we need that leadership, but we also need people with that historical perspective that understand why some things are done. And Kathy's involved in a lot of other committees and you'll have an opportunity to be on those committees also. So we have an agenda. Uh, the, we're gonna hear from remarks from, from our other co-chair, Kathy, and then our ranking member. So I'll ask Kathy, Representative uh, Abercrombie first. Would you like to introduce yourself? Thank you, Senator Moore. And good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Human Services. And we have a lot of new members here. Um, I look forward to working with each and every one of you. You know, this is a committee that is not a partisan committee. We are all here for one purpose, to do what's best for the people that we represent. And how can you not when it's Human Services? Uh, we have great staff. I hope you take advantage of that from our OFA members who Marilyn will be introducing to our LCO and OLR. Um, so please take advantage of that. I'd also like to take this opportunity real quickly to introduce um, my new vice chair this year, Jane Garibay, who I am so looking forward to working with. Um, we, uh, I think that we will have a strong working relationship together. She brings a lot of expertise to this committee um, and I look forward to that. Uh, thank you, Senator Moore. You're welcome. Next, we have the ranking from the Senate, uh, Senator Berthel. Uh, good afternoon, Madam Chair. Thank you. Uh, good to see everyone. I am Senator Eric Berthel, uh, representing the 32nd District, a little bit of Litchfield County, a little bit of New Haven County. My first uh, cycle on the uh, Human Services Committee, I'm beginning my fourth term overall in the General Assembly. Um, you know, we, uh, the, the leadership met earlier today just to get to know each other a little bit uh, more cozily, if you will, uh, however you can do that via, um, uh, via Zoom. But um, I, I will echo what uh, Representative Abercrombie said, is I think that there is, and what uh, Senator Moore said, that to the extent possible, I think we should be working as uh, uh, bipartisan or nonpartisan, if you will, as, uh, as, as we possibly can to get things done uh, to... Uh, uh, protect the people that we're, uh, we not only represent, but that we're entrusted to care for through the services provided and, um, and overseen by this committee. So I look forward to uh, learning with you a little bit more about the committee and bringing my, uh, my experience in the legislature over the past uh, six years to, uh, to the uh, table here as well. So thank you, Madam Chair, for the opportunity to introduce myself. Thank you, Senator. And next, Representative Jay Case. Thank you, Senator Moore. Um, it's good to see you. Um, yeah, as uh, going into the fifth term, this is my fourth term as ranking. I see Terry Wood has joined us. I've taken over ranking for her. Um, you know, it, it's going to be a fun, exciting year. I know um, Senator Moore and Representative Abercrombie and myself have been on meetings all summer, all fall long together. 
So um, COVID has hit us hard. I think it's going to be interesting with this committee of uh, to see what comes out of it. Um, between this and appropriations, uh, you know, these are some tough decisions that need to be made, and but they need to be made for the people. I'm excited for the group that's here, and uh, you know, as as I learned this morning, Senator Abercrombie has new staff, the House has new staff, Senate has new staff. So we have some new people coming in to uh, work on human services and, uh, you know, we get them up to speed and uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll make a difference and, uh, you know, we can get these meetings rolling. But thank you, uh, Senator Moore, and it's, it's good to see you on the camera. <laughs> it's an inside joke, everyone. <laughs> oh, I have a morning face. It's not really something I want to share with everybody, but it's one o'clock. I'm together by now. Uh, you know, that was nine o'clock in the morning. That's okay. I go to bed at like three or four. So I'm up all night and I'm on a different clock, especially since we can create what we want right now, right? We, we're creating what we want to be and I want to be, get up at noon, stay up all night. So that's how that works. But I'm, I'm flexible to, to other schedules also. I do want to say this has really been a great committee for me over the past four years because We've all been able to sit down and talk about what we need to do. And it is about the people. We never want to lose sight of why we're here, that we're here for the people. And I, I realized during COVID how important this committee is because we were really the backbone right away uh, when the nursing homes, uh, so much was going on in nursing homes with the deaths and everything. We were the first ones to jump in and say, what do we need to do? We need to uh, start addressing these issues. We need to know what's going on. So it may be a smaller committee, but it is really the backbone of people. And that's, that's what I really love about being on this committee. So I'm now going to introduce the committee staff. Uh, Marie Grady from LCO has been with us uh, since I've been here. Marie, do you wanna say anything? Uh, thank you, Senator. Just uh, looking forward to working with you all. Anything I can do for you, please let me know. Thank you. And Emily Shepard from OFA, Emily. Hi, everyone. Um, I just wanted to make a note that we will have a new staff member um, joining our office, and she's going to cover Department of Social Services with me. Um, so she starts on Friday, Lindsay Donston, and you will be seeing her shortly. Thank you, Emily. Mary Fitzpatrick and Jean Proto, they're from OLR. Mary, you want to go first? Good afternoon. Looking forward to working with the committee. This is my uh, seventh year staffing. Thank you. And Jean Proto. And also looking forward to working with everyone. Thank you. Now, we, we nobody would get anything done or we wouldn't be who we are without Heather Ferguson. She has been, oh, she's been just like such a backbone and, and so calm during all of this and whatever you need, she does. Heather? Senator Moore for your kind words. Um, I love being in human services. I love working with you all. And I, I know that this is a highly unusual session, but I think like, it's going to be fabulous. So, so thank you. And I'm very thank happy you. to have two assistant clerks too. And it's wonderful to have somebody working you're working with that's flexible and doesn't see it as a barrier, but figures out a way to get around it before I hear about it. I mean, it's, it's all worked out before uh, I hear from it. This is what we need, and especially in a time like this. So thank you, Heather. And then there's um, Gianna Volano. Hi, everybody. It's nice to see you all. And, and are you new, Gianna? Yes, this is my first session. All right. We'll be nice. We're always nice, but we'll be exceptionally nice. <laughs> thank you. Welcome. And you'll be the assistant clerk, correct? Yes. All right. Thank you. So I'm going to go over um, the Zoom etiquette guidelines with everybody. I don't know if you all have been in other meetings. It's not changed from anybody, but it's important. Just like how we tell people that when we're in the building, we explain how to leave the room if something's going on. I think this is equally important. And because it's new to all of us, it's uh, because it's new to all of us, I think it's really important that we see it in writing and if you want a copy of it, we can make sure that you all get that, that you have it. So I'm gonna go through the Zoom meeting uh, for us right now. 
So meetings will be conducted at a slower pace to accommodate the quality of the live, live stream and to preserve the integrity of the vote. Uh, all participants will be muted until required to speak. Members must raise their virtual hand to signify a desire to speak and they must wait to be recognized. This is one of the like the, one thing I think is good that we can't talk over one another, that there's some order here, it helps. Um, you do that by opening the participant panel and click on raise hand at the bottom of the panel. I'm quite sure by now, most of us have been on Zooms that we're getting used to how to uh, get attention or let someone know we wanna speak. So it's no different from what you would do for any of those. For roll call votes, committee staff will visually authenticate the voter. Members are requested to state their name and the vote. All right, so we got to think about who's taking this information down when Heather's taking it down. And you must be visible, so you have to show uh, your actual body. I mean, you have to have your, your camera on so we can see who's voting. And she'll need you to say who it is, so it'll be more yes, more no. Is that correct, Heather? Is Heather there? Okay, if it's that's not- That's correct, Marilyn. That's correct, right? Okay, for voice uh, votes, the chair will announce the following. Please prepare yourself for a vo vo voice vote by unmuting your microphone. We're asking that you try to log into meetings a minimum of 10 minutes early to allow time for to admit all the members and for troubleshooting if needed. For some of you new people, I want to let you know we have 15 minutes from the time that we uh, call the meeting. So if the meeting is called at one o'clock, we have to start the meeting by 1.15. We can adjourn, we can, um, what is it? Uh, we can hold the meeting and readjourn uh, the meeting after. Uh, we, we can recess the meeting and come back when we have, have to, but we have to start the meetings within 15 minutes of the time that we post it. You've got to remember that people on a, in a normal, oh, what's the, I don't know what's normal anymore. In the other world, um, people would be in the, in, the, in the rooms waiting for us to start the meeting. Online, they'll need to know that we recessed and we'll be coming back at another time, at a certain time, whatever we decide what that is. Uh, the use of emojis, icons, clapping hands, the thumbs up, the rahs that you say, that is not allowed. You, the, anything that we, we do is being recorded, people can see, people can hear, and it could be FOI'd. Uh, so the, if you have a question, it's to raise your hand and be called on about upon the chair, no sending messages back. The other part is that whoever's running the meeting, it's difficult for them to see what's going on um, in the chat and run the meeting. So that's another reason you need to be conscious of what we're doing and be considerate of our, our clerks. Uh, so the use of the chat, either public or private is not allowed. All chat records are saved by default and therefore could be subject to FOI requests. In most cases, the chat will be disabled by the clerk. So now I'm going to give everybody an opportunity to do, we'll do a roll call uh, for attendance and Heather will call the membership. And if you'd like to, I, before we do that, uh, I'd like to just do one thing that wasn't on my agenda to do. We have some people that are newly elected. Uh, Senator George Cabrera is new in the Senate. Hi, welcome aboard. This Thank is you, Senator. The first time I'm, there's gonna be three three uh, uh, them senators on my committee. So I have somebody to caucus with now, Kathy. Uh, Kathy has a whole group of people from the house and it was just me and the person all the time. So I had nobody to caucus with, but I'm building my team. So that's good. And then there's uh, a new representative, uh, Christine Gupil, that I said hi to. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the, to the legislature. Thank you very much. I'm really happy to be Where are you here. from? I am uh, from the 35th district, which is Clinton, Killingworth, and Westbrook. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. And, the, uh, and then you'll get to 
to you in here before uh, to this committee. And Henry Aurora? Yes, Harry Aurora. It's, it's Harry. Harry? Yes. Uh, uh, thank you so much. I'm very honored to be on this committee. I uh, bring a more business background. This is my second uh, term in the legislature and my first time on this committee. Uh, you know, I uh, look forward to working on the issues which this committee faces and to working with all of you. As mentioned, these are some very important uh, policy matters and programs, and I look forward to working on them with all of you. Thank you. Thank you, nice to meet you. And I see Representative Simmons, who's not new to the legislature, but new to this committee, welcome. Thank you so much, Senator Moore. I'm so excited and honored to be on this committee and, and couldn't agree with you more that the work that this committee does is, is so important, especially during COVID. And so thank you for, for all of your leadership and Representative Abercrombie and really looking forward to working with the whole committee. Thank you. Nice group, love this. Heather, do you wanna do the roll call and then people can say something? I'm sorry, Senator, and you froze on my end. I don't know if everybody else can hear you, but um, thank you so much. I will go ahead um, with a roll call. So um, I'll read names, and so please, uh, um, as the Senator mentioned, turn on your video um, so I can state your name and say present so that I can record you. So um, Abercrombie. Rep. Abercrombie here. Moore. Here. Senator Berthel. Senator Berthel is here. Case. Representative Case is here. Lesser. Senator Lesser. Representative Garibay. Here. Cabrera. Senator Cabrera is here. Butler. Representative Butler. Cook. Representative Cook here. Dathan. Representative Dathan's here. Goupil. Here. Hughes. Representative Hughes is here. Santiago. Presente, I'm here. Simmons. Here. Stallworth. Stallworth is here. Aurora. Present. Buckby. Up is right here. Our Master Francesco. And Representative Master Francesco is here. Stradzinski. Good afternoon. Present. Wood. Present. Representative Wood, I didn't see your video. Oh, can you see me? There it's I can. On. It's on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll set Senator Moore. Thank you, Heather. So uh, let's do, you wanna go through and do the introductions if anybody would like to introduce themselves, I'm fine with doing that. Uh, Representative uh, Garibay, would you like to say something? Just like to say, hello everyone. I'm also new to human services. This is my second term and I'm so excited to be working with all of you for a year that we're all our energies is gonna really be needed. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Butler. Representative Cook. Yes. Would you like to say anything? <laughs> oh, I'm excited to be back. And I know that what we have to do this year is going to be long, tedious work, but so vitally important. It might be the most important legislative session um, in this committee that we've had since I've been here. And I look forward to working with everybody and the new members. Thank you. 
Representative Dathan. Representative Dathan is here. Um, I'm uh, echo my colleague, Representative Cook's comments and delighted to be back here for my second term in human services. It is such a vital commi committee and we have all seen in our state um, how important it is during this COVID crisis and welcome to all the new members on this committee. Thank you. Representative Hughes. Hi, delighted to be returning to Human Services for a second term. I represent the 135th District of East and Weston and Reading, and just echo my colleagues and ranking member cases that this is so important to be a people-centered recovery from this prolonged health crisis, and especially to center those most impacted by COVID. So, thanks. Thank you. Representative Santiago. Hi, this is, um, welcome to all the new members. This is my fifth term on the Human Services Committee. We, um, we have done very important work in the last, um, uh, since 2012, since I've been on this, um, on this committee, but looking forward to uh, some new legislation and also uh, tie it to a lot of what's happening um, in our state with the COVID. So looking forward to that. Thank you. Representative Simmons. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Representative Caroline Simmons. I represent the 144th District in Stanford. And um, just want to again say I'm so looking forward to being a part of this committee and, and all the important work that we have ahead to serve the people of Connecticut and particularly the most vulnerable who need help right now. Thanks so much. Thank you. Representative Stallworth. Uh, Representative, I'm, I'm sorry, Senator Moore, my senator, uh, I'm out well, I'm mobile, so I have on my mask, I apologize for that, uh, but I'm looking forward no to, thank you. Necessary. Okay, thank you. Well, I'm looking forward to working with the uh, committee, and thank you so much, and to uh, our House Chair as well for your uh, leadership, and look forward to this session. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Buckby. Thank you, Madam Chair. I, I have to say, it's been a couple of years since you and I have worked together uh, on Children's Committee. This is my third term uh, coming in, my first term on this committee. I really look forward to it. I'm Bill Buckby. I'm from uh, the best town in the USA, New Milford, Connecticut, also the largest town in the state. Uh, I really, I'm really excited about this committee and especially working with some people I haven't worked with before. Uh, a lot of new members I'm excited about and, and people that I've served with for a few years I've never been on committee with. So. Uh, very exciting, and we have some really, really important work ahead of us, and uh, thank you. Uh, Representative Buckby, everybody seemed to, to follow your lead with that beard uh, in the last six or seventh month. Every man I saw, no matter where they were at, somebody had a beard, so. People are good at being lazy. People Friends are really good at not shaving, yeah. Representative Mastro Francesco, how are you? Very well. Thank you, Madam Chair. I hope you're doing well. Yes, thank you. Um, I'm very happy. I uh, said this is my second term in the legislature, my second term on the Human Services Committee. I'm happy to be back on this committee. I enjoyed it very much uh, the last session. I'm looking forward to working with everyone. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Representative Rosensky. Hello, Madam Chair. I'm glad to see that Monroe is well represented on this committee. Yeah. I'm looking forward to my second term on this committee and uh, wish everybody well. Happy New Year. Thank you, dear. Representative uh, Wood. <laughs> Terry Wood, I represent Norwalk Darien, fifth term on the committee. Uh, Marie Grady and Mary Fitzgerald and I all came in together. So happy to be working with them again and, and the whole group. And I, Marilyn, Senator Moore, I have to ask, 3 a.m.? I know where I'm coming. If I can't one sleep morning, one night, one I'm coming down to your house. One morning, 4.30. Wow, that's, par that's good partying. And then <laughs> or good getting something. up at like nine o'clock. Yeah, anyway, thank My you, thank you all. All. Thank yep. you all. Thank you. Good. Uh, Senator Lesser's here, I'm sorry, I had skipped over you, I didn't see you, Senator Lesser. Hello, Madam uh, Chair. Uh, it's good to be uh, uh, here with you uh, today, and I'm just uh, honored. This is my first term on the Human Services Committee and my first term serving as your uh, vice chair, and I just want to thank you for all the work that you do to, to center uh, health equity, particularly right now. Uh, there's never been a more important to talk about this issue, so I'm excited to, to get to work and to work under you, and uh, uh, we got a lot of work to do uh, together on this committee. Thank you, Senator. Did I miss anyone? 
Jay Case. Representative no? Case, did I skip over you? No, we spoke earlier. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Representative Google, did you want? Yes. No, we're all good. We're all good. Hi, uh, Christine Goupil from the 35th District. I'm really happy to be appointed to this committee. Um, I was the former first selectman in the town of Clinton. And um, one of the big takeaways from that position is how integral the human services function is within the state and how it touches so many layers of all the other different committees. So um, I recognize the important work that needs to get done and has done, been done in the past. So again, thank you very much. Um, looking forward to getting to work with everybody. Thank you. So I'd like to tell you my commitment to, um, to all of my constituents and to this committee and every committee I, I'm a part of that I will be looking for everything for racial equity lens uh, to make sure that we're not uh, compounding the problems that we're facing right now. Uh, and I'd like to have really frank, open discussions with everyone to make sure that we're doing that uh, and understanding how it could have an impact on people, black and brown people who have been disenfranchised by the system. I think we saw a lot of that come out of the nursing home crisis and the COVID crisis. So that is my commitment. I've made it with my uh, friends and my constituents and I've said it um, on many platforms that I want to be able to walk away at the end of this crisis that we're in and say that we looked at it how is it going to impact all of our constituency equally? And, and that's, my, that's gonna be my driver uh, for the next two years. So I wanna thank you all. Representative Abercrombie, did you wanna add anything to anything I've said? Thank you, Senator. Yes, just a couple of housekeeping things for the new members and returning members. Um, so being that we're gonna be doing this by Zoom, we know that things are gonna be a lot different this year. We are gonna take things slowly. Um, just so that we don't miss any of the pieces. But just so people know, we will only be leaving votes open for an hour and a half. Being that it's Zoom, um, we feel that everybody should within an hour and a half of the meeting closing be able to get on and vote. Uh, Heather, the reason why she sent out the contact is you need to give her the best number to reach out to you. She will be doing um, text messaging to make sure that no one misses any votes, but we just wanted everyone to understand that. I also wanted to introduce uh, Dave Radcliffe, who is another assistant clerk from the House Republican side. Um, welcome, we look forward to working with you also. Uh, we also do on human services informational forums. So far this year, we will be doing two and we will be doing them with appropriations. We'll be doing Medicaid 101 which we are working with appropriations right now to set up. And then we'll also be doing a nursing home informational forum um, because I really think it's important for human services and for uh, appropriations to talk about the recommendations that are coming out of the work group. So uh, I look forward to that coming on the calendar. I also wanna let people know that I know it's a little challenging, but we were not able to do one Zoom and be able to go to breakout rooms um, to do caucuses. Reason being, we were asked by our attorneys to do separate Zooms for that. So I know it's another layer, folks, but you know uh, we just have to make sure that we're doing things in uh, compliance with what our attorneys are telling us are, is the best way to proceed. So I apologize that we're gonna have to do a caucus before committee meetings, on a separate Zoom, but we don't have much of a choice. And then I just wanna lastly uh, say to everyone that this is a committee that is very open to all members to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Um, I know doing through a Zoom is gonna be totally different, but we don't wanna lose that human touch that we have here on Human Services. So please know that you have uh, each other's cell phones. We will be distributing that please feel free to reach out. I know I speak for my co-chair, Senator Moore, when I say, you know, your input is really, really important on this committee. So with that, I thank you all for being here. I'm sure that we will have many more conversations. And if anybody has any informational forum that they think or any subject we should do 
a four month, please, please just send an email to Heather and then the four chairs will take a look at that and decide when's the best time to have it. So thank you all and I look forward to working with you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Anything for my ranking? Uh, Madam Chair, yes, I, I hate to follow the chair after a very nice closing speech. Um, I neglected to introduce uh, Sean Cleary, who is from the Senate Republican office as uh, our researcher in our office. So uh, Sean is new to the committee replacing, um, I believe Mike Goodwine was here uh, from the Senate Republican office. Mike has moved on to uh, employment outside of the legislature. Thank you. Thank you. So I think we should, Heather, I'm gonna ask you, in addition to the Zoom guidelines to include the information about leaving the votes open and uh, maybe at the bottom add that uh, the possible possibility of doing the Medicaid 101 in the nursing homes, that that's coming with a date to, to come on that. I just want to say to everybody, when I first uh, joined the legislature, the, the first thing I needed to learn about sitting on human services was that Medicaid 101. Um, and so I, I didn't get it the first time, you know, because it's a lot of information when you're brand new and you're walking into this. But it is really important uh, that you you participate in that because that's the backbone of a lot of the work that we do is best based on Medicaid, uh, and it's it's um, I don't think it's complex, but there's just a lot of components to this Medicaid piece. And then the nursing homes, I think, will be really interesting once we get the report to hear what they have to say beyond the legislature legislation that we need to put forward to understand um, the work that's been put into this. The other piece of this is for the nursing homes, a lot of time has been spent. I think uh, Representative Abercrombie and I and, and Representative Case, uh, I would say no less than 20 hours a week, every week uh, since COVID, just zooming in, talking to different people, talking to the, the workers, talking to the owners of nursing homes, talking to uh, the, the leadership with DPH and DSS, we've spent a lot of time understanding what has happened in the nursing homes, how it happened, and trying to get in front of it for this next wave or what else is coming to how we can do better than what we did pre-COVID. So it's important for you, and it's important for our constituents to know that during the time we were gone in March, that we were not just sitting here, um, not doing anything, that we continued to work. And I, I would say for me, it was 10 hour days every single day. It was rare when a day when I didn't have an, another meeting. And most of it was all based on the nursing homes. Would you agree, uh, Representative Abercrombie and, and Representative Case? We yes, put you, got on the, you got on the phone bright and early in the morning. I don't know how you did it, but... Uh... We have a lot of information that we can pass on and that we can work with. But I also want to introduce, we have Adam Johnson, who's my new researcher for the House Republicans. Uh, Johnny Bamos has moved up in the ranks. So uh, we have a lot of new researcher staff uh, coming on board. But yeah, the three of us have been on calls um, and, and learning a lot. And uh, <clears throat> I think we we have a handle on some things, but there's still a lot of questions and we're still looking for a lot of the answers. So, uh, so I well, want you to know this committee was well represented in the past nine months uh, on all of the calls, asking really tough questions, calling things the way we really believe they were happening. We didn't, we didn't take anything for granted. We really did speak out on behalf of our constituency and, uh, we, we pushed the envelope, we challenged, we asked, you know, and if, if we didn't think it was right, we spoke up. If we didn't think it was true, <laughs> Representative Abercrombie <laughs> spoke up. So we did, we did the hard work. And so I, I tell you that because this is so important, this committee is so important to, to our, our, everyone in, in Connecticut. The nursing homes seem to have touched everyone. So uh, any other comments from my co-chair or anyone else. Okay, we don't have another meeting date. Uh, do we, Heather? Uh, Senator, no, we do not have our next meeting scheduled, but um, I will send that information out as soon as I have it. Um, and also the other information you requested me to send to the committee. And, and um, as you said, if there's any information that people need, please never hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, I can email, text, um, but I wanna make sure that everybody's informed. Thank you. 
If nothing else, I'll adjourn the meeting. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. Thank so you. So guys, uh, one moment. Uh -huh. When you move in second, guys, you have to say your name so that Heather has it for the record. Senator so Burke seconds the motion. Uh, Representative Hughes, uh, so moved. <laughs> <laughs> First in the motion. <laughs> All right. Yeah, then. we just have to get in the habit of it because that's the only way poor Heather's going to be able to keep up with this. So thank you all. And we'll see you in two minutes in caucus. All right. Thank you.